I know Denmark do Christmas very well. So blonde, blue eyed, very friendly. There's really pretty girls there. Great shopping. I've had Danish buttered cookies. And Danish pastries. Coming to Copenhagen was inspirational for me because it helped me to move outside of my comfort zone and I got so much more open to new possibilities and experiences. Here in Copenhagen we look at the forestry from three different angles. We start with the ecology where we explore silviculture and uh, forest management. Then we go into economics and look at the um, economics of natural resources and forestry in particular. So we have a mix of oak, beech and some cherry. The Erasmus Mundus program is a very attractive program. It's a unique elite program within the European Union, but also a close connection with the, the rest of the world. So we teach the students how can we actually extract resources from our forest and nature environment, but on the other side we also teach the students how to monitor the impacts on the environment of the human actions. Also, how can they actually find a nice plan which balance these different needs. In Denmark, the first surprise you get is that you can go and address your teacher by first name basis. You can say hi Jens and that's totally appropriate. The second one is that they're really easy to approach. You come and you get the answers you want. Back in the, the early days of genetic conservation, the kind of 1970s. We try to combine theory and practice by lecturing in, in the, at the university and also to enhance group work. But in particular, we combine theory and practice by uh, taking the students a lot into the nature to do field studies and to make observations and combine that with what we, we learned in the, in the classroom. So academically, Erasmus Mundus provides you with a lot of opportunities to experience different cultures as far as teaching cultures. So next year I'm going to Bangor. It's a tiny, tiny village in Wales, but I'm really excited. These students within this program uh, are very strong, very academically strong and, and uh, cultural skilled people. And I think this is really something that brings a lot of added value to, to Europe as well as to this university. The best thing about Copenhagen is people. I've discovered that you can't be lost here for more than two, three minutes. You open the map, you seem lost, and then somebody comes by and asks you, do you need help? And I think it's great. My advice for new students who are coming to Copenhagen is, uh, please don't be terrified. Everyone here speaks English, and it gets even better. The movies are not dubbed, so you don't miss out on anything new coming out. <laughs>